Hey there, how you doing? And welcome to this YouTube channel review. Um, in this particular review, I'm actually going to go over a close friend of mine. His name is Doug Mitchell. He's also in the online marketing space. Uh, and I'm going to break down like in, in his particular channel, um, what he's doing and how to go about improving, right? Uh, I mean, I, I talk about a lot of stuff in my other channel reviews about how to go about, you know, ranking your content, um, optimizing your channel and so on and so forth. And so we're actually going to look at it from a business perspective. So um, I know this might not be very helpful for, for those of you who are gamers um, or for those of you who are makeup artists or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But if, if you're interested at all in terms of like how to make money online, then this is the kind of stuff that you really need to be looking at. Okay, because let's be honest, without making any sort of money, your business doors cannot stay open, right? Even if those big business stores are digital. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this review and let's see what it is that we can help Doug with in terms of improving what he's actually doing. So having a look over at his channel, so immediately um, there are a couple of things that really grab my attention um, in terms of like a positive uh, outlook, right? So there you can see like um, that his thumbnails, they've got a theme uh, as, as in terms of the way that he's building them. So he's got his, his initial title and then his kicker. Um, He's uh, for each and every single one of his thumbnails. This one is probably one that he's missed, and I'm guessing he'll he'll um, he'll fix that one uh, once he watches this review. I'm assuming. Um, and also, like he's got a picture of himself, and the title of his actual channel is Doug Mitchell. So I actually really like those things. Now I do also like that he's got logical business building uh, with Doug Mitchell up here. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't like, however. Um, the first thing would be that. Uh, the with Doug Mitchell is kind of like blacked out and almost like it's it's difficult to see and read. Um, and so what I would urge doing, uh, having done is to change the actual color of this so it stands out more. You know what I mean? Like almost subconsciously, it's almost like, well, my brand logical business building is more important than my name itself. And perhaps maybe that's true or maybe that's the actual target that you're going for. Uh, but for me personally, like um, I, I like to think of myself as well as my business just as important as each other, right? Like uh, my, my name and the brand in which I'm trying to build is just as important as any other brand that I'm trying to promote. Um, if, if anything, it's more important because people connect with small businesses because of the people that are doing what it is that they actually do, right? So the, there's a couple of things I would do there. Like I said, um, I would actually make logical business building bigger. Um, I would make this a different font, uh, color so that it stands out more. Like the white seems to look really good with the blue background. That's pretty sick. Um, and so I would, I would do that. And then I would add a picture of myself just like this one. A nice picture with your mug in it, with you smiling. Um, or at the very least, a picture of you, even if you're not smiling, looking directly at the camera. Because, I mean, look, mine isn't. I'm not looking at, looking directly at the camera. Um, but I kind of have like a subliminal messaging going behind this particular thing. So... <clears throat> I'd put a picture of myself there so that people can resonate in terms of the channel. Now, a lot of people come to your channel because they want to learn more about you. So if they come to the channel and they go, um, oh, it, it, um, it's just got logical business building and I don't even, can't even see him. Like I, I know these are very small things, but remember, these are the small tweaks which are going to help your channel go from kind of like a, maybe like a C or a B to a B or an A, right? We're, we're just trying to find small incremental changes that we can apply to our daily game that are going to help us get further in what it is that we're actually trying to achieve, right? And, and my, um, Doug, you're in the on, you're in the online business space, so I assume you're trying to make more money, so we're going to make this look like it's worth more money, right? Um, so the other thing I would say here as well is it doesn't, you, you don't have a, um, uh, a channel trailer so make sure you put that one on there and it can be very very short it can be like you know 30 to you know 120 seconds so 30 seconds to one to, to, to two minutes um, just touching very briefly on who you are what it is that you're doing and how you're trying to help people achieve what it is that they you want them to achieve with your particular channel all right so that's there's a couple of good things here but also a couple of things that you could work on at the same time um, now uh, let's just go to the videos and we'll bring up a couple of videos and start looking at what it is that we're doing here. So you can see here that Doug's got um, a, a lot of videos. Uh, the thumbnails have, have really been done. Like, I mean, even these older ones, they don't look as good as the new ones, but even them, they're pretty good and they're, they're very well themed. That's what I like about it. And these ones as well. Um, this stands out quite a bit. They are a bit plain. Um, not to mention, um, if you want to talk about color psychology, so there's a lot of black, red, and white, i.e. YouTube. 
Um, so, so there's a color psychology in terms of a correlation with YouTube, uh, but in terms of your own personal brand, you're not standing out at all, right? Um, and I'm guessing that's why you've gone on and made uh, some of these changes here, which I think these look better, but these look even better. Now, in terms of the thumbnails, yes, you can take it up another level um, by by making, you know, adding this. You've got this outline here of yourself, but it really doesn't stand out. So I'd make that outline a bit thicker um, through Photoshop. Um, and then or at this, also at the same time is like, <clears throat> I have a bias for these things. So I'm not saying that this is gospel because I, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm more in the minority here than, than with other people. Like a lot of people built a, a very, very successful thumbnails um, with fonts, uh, with, with uh, uh, text and stuff going in all, all different kinds of directions. Now for me, if you're going to do that, that's cool. And do exactly the way you're doing it. I.e. every single thumbnail, there's a, there's this one is straight and then this was is a upward slant. Um, and it's the same <clears throat> same thing with all of your, your thumbnails. So it's cool. You've got a theme going on there and I like that. Um, I would just look at trying to making it, uh, try to make it more pop. In other words, maybe, maybe, maybe make your picture a bit smaller. Make your, make your picture like one third instead of one half, um, which is something you can do with Photoshop very easily. And then I would make your, your text a little bit bigger because when the, the purpose of thumbnails is to find, uh, is to, to introduce yourself at a visual glance to people who don't know you, i.e. it's, it is a picture resume, right? A picture CV that you're putting across to people and say, Hey, look, this, this is, this is what this video is about and you want to click on it and so on and so forth. Okay. So in other words, that's why I prioritize, um, my text over my pictures. Um, if you look, if you look at any of my videos, uh, so as you can see here, like the texts are quite big and the pictures are, are, are much, much smaller because I, and I, the, I really want certain things to stand out. Like in this case, you can see what I want to stand out is affiliate millionaire. What I want to stand out here is techniques. Um, what I want to stick out here is is uh, is the beginners. So niche, right? Uh, niche markets, niche keywords. There are certain things that I want to stick out, and I I, t I do my best to try and make those things uh, pop. Um, and we, whereas with yours, they're, they're a bit harder to read, um, and they're all, because they're a lot smaller, and the texts are going in different directions. So if you're going to do this, that's fine. Um, but make make it make make your picture smaller and go my, mindset marketing tips right across the top, um, or, or online marketing motivation right across the top. And then um, have the actual, you know, text itself. So to grow could be one one row, your business, uh, or even your, seems like you want to highlight it because it's the capital. Make your like one big text that really sticks out and then business on its own underneath. Um, bang, 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 just like that in that kind of format. Um, and, and yes, you're, having your picture on the left-hand side is better in my opinion because it's the first thing that people see. But at the same time, like you, you could very easily put it on the right um, and make the text a priority because at the moment you're, you're really trying to find um, gravity, right? You, you trin you're really trying to find, sorry, not gravity, attraction uh, in your channel so that you can get more views because I see you put out a lot of content um, and I've gone through some of your videos and the videos are good. Um, so I actually have no feedback in terms of the way you structure your content because I've gone through a few of them already and they're good. Uh, the, the content is good. It's valuable. Look, the length is good. It's, you know, it's everything I kind of teach between, you know, eight and 16 minutes and um, personalized stuff. Thumbnail, a lot of it is, is good. It's just a couple of these little things that we need to tweak and we'll go into the, the metadata shortly um, to really kind of break it down further. Um, so if we just have a quick look at playlists here and just see what you've got going on. So yeah, brilliant. Look, you, you've just started this new playlist. That's really good. And the playlist is my, uh, my mindset marketing tips. And I think this is going to go pretty well. Uh, make money online. That's great. You've done a couple of those videos already. Online marketing tips. You've got those already. So it's great. You've got four different playlists here. Um, logical business building. Yep, that's cool. I'm all for having like a main playlist per keyword slash phrase and then building from there. So in this particular case, it uh, looks like you're building through logical business building. Now, I know that's your brand, Doug, but I would I would honestly break this down. Um, you've got uh, over 200 videos. So I, I would break this down even further. 200 videos, you could probably easily have like 20 to 30 playlists. And all you need is one common thing that you know was touched upon in a video. For example, if, if out of these 196 videos, you've got five of them that, that mention or talk about ClickBank, even for a minute or two, you could put that in a make money with ClickBank playlist. Um, you could, you could add another one and, and go even further and you know what I mean? Like, just like you're doing here, my mindset, marketing tips, make money online tips. So everything you do about marketing mindset, put it in here, right? And do your best because you actually pump out five videos a week, which is something that very, very few people actually do. Um, but what you could do is, uh, how do I say, uh, 
do do like a playlist per week or at the very least like at five videos at five videos a week i would be doing at least a playlist at the bare minimum absolute bare minimum i would be doing like a playlist a month and and even then you you know you you're kind of doing yourself a, a disservice uh, i mean I, I i put out you know two to three videos a week at this at this current clip um, and, and even then, I probably create like a new playlist every week. Um, I understand the value behind them and people probably undervalue it in terms of like what it means to YouTube. Um, but that could be something that could help you out as well. So let's have a look at these videos and just break down some of the metadata. I'm just going to open up some, some random videos here. Uh, let's bring up a couple of the older ones and a couple of these ones too. All right. <clears throat> now, I just need to pause these real quick. Um, okay, so the mute's already on. So we'll give you some love, Doug, while we're here. And so in this video, all right. So very first thing you'd, you'd want to do is you want to front load your keyword. So just remove this, remove this right here. Mindset marketing tips to grow. I share with you that oh, most people struggle to grow. It depends what your key, what your keyword is here. Okay, and for some reason, friggin', of course, while we're trying to do this. Um, <laughs> uh, it's it's not it's not showing up. Um, TubeBuddy is not doing a thing. So let me just refresh refresh this because we really need to see that. Here we go. Now it's loading. All right. So it's got 14 total views. It's got uh, three likes now and a comment, which is pretty good. Um, so you put this up there, and yep, that's great. You've you've also hearted it and liked it and pinned it. So that's very good. That's something I teach in my course. Um, and yeah, so the first thing I would do is, is front load my actual keyword here. Now I can't tell what your keyword is because you've got mindset marketing tips as the front. So, and you've actually got it as the first one here. So I assume that that's what you're going after. So that's really good. Look, mindset marketing tips, bingo. You've already got, uh, you're already sitting first, which is probably why you've already got, uh, 14 views in only what, two days. So that's pretty good. Um, the, obviously, there, there's a lot more uh, views and growth to come. Don't get me wrong. But this is actually pretty damn good if you ask me. Mindset marketing tips to grow your business. You're probably sitting first here because it's a keyword that's not searched for. If we just click here, it'll tell us. Um, but it doesn't matter. You, you're ranking for stuff that is relevant. You know what I mean? So, okay. So you've got some search volume here. And there's a fair bit of competition. So, damn, you, you're sitting first. That's that's really awesome. Um, so that's it. This is a really good start. Like in terms of what I'm looking at, I like what I'm seeing here already. So let's just close this and go on to the next video. Um, so yeah, same thing. Um, online marketing motivation. Uh, so I'm guessing online marketing motivation is, is also the front here, but yeah, I would cut this out and just go this. And then, you know, you, you want to also like put your URL in here somewhere as well, Doug. And uh, you want to put it in the first couple of, uh, sentences, even in, even in the first two sentences. So mine's, my view here is a bit larger than usual, but if you look here, see only the first few sentences are actually showing. So I'm going to give you some more love. Um, and, and what you what you'll see here um, is that like when people are interested in what you're talking about in the video, they'll want to be they'll want to be clicking on what the videos are actually doing. Uh, sorry, on, on what it is that you're offering for free. Okay, and and I assume that you're offering something for free because you are a marketer and you probably understand the values of having a landing page and an opt-in list list or so on. Or even if people, even if you're just talking about subscribing, then you have your subscribing you know uh, uh, button up here so that people can do it quickly and easily. All right, um, so. Just before I go into any other things, the, the other thing I would I would do, Doug, here is I would learn how to jump cut. Okay, now I know it adds a lot in terms of like editing, but it is worth it in terms of the engagement. It's shown to grow engagement by uh, the last, the most accurate statistic that I saw that I actually trusted was anywhere between like 35 and 60% in, uh, in terms of, uh, sorry, retention rate, not in terms of engagement. <clears throat> and like, like uh, I've watched your videos. You're good on, you're good on there. You talk really, really well. The information you put out there is valuable. Okay. So once your channel is found, once you're popular, you can go back to doing this sort of stuff and you will blow up because the shit you put out there is good. What's missing, however, at the beginning is creating that, uh, that and get is raising that engagement level, raising the retention rate and getting more views for what it is that you're actually doing. Right. So in this particular case, right, where you've got, um, You've got a you've got a seven an almost eight minute video and you're probably watching through the entire video and it's just you and the camera. Now that's fine, but I would look at cutting it like at least once a minute if you can for uh, once every thirty seconds. And the jump cut is literally like you know not like 0.2 of a second, 0.5 of a second, where you're just cutting out a spot where that where it's, where you're where you're going blank or you're you're slowing your speech so to to speed up 
like it feels like your video is warping and so it automatically creates retention it's a psychological thing it resets people's attention to pay to pay back attention to your video and what it is that you're saying rather than when you just talk on going without any sort of a cut any sort of a break people lose that engagement level okay so let's look at more of these videos um so same thing here in this in this video direct sales tips for beginners how to get more engagement in your marketplace and TubeBuddy's really doing one on me here. Must be must be something going on with TubeBuddy. Uh, okay, so there we go. It's loading. So it's got four views. It's got one comment and three likes. Okay, so your likes. When you think about like three likes, mean, I just gave you one. So but and I just gave you two views. So two views, two likes. That's pretty damn good, man. Like <laughs> what what we need to do is is helping you get more views, and it really comes down to the tags. This is where it's really really at. So so you see this here. You're sitting first for this tag for this actual keyword which is cool but it's never searched for right you, the people people don't search for this sort of stuff in youtube so finding it would be difficult like it, but everything else is nothing else that you're ranking for um so and you can see here it hasn't been liked on facebook um there hasn't been a comment hearted so um you, you I've just given you a like, but you also need to hut. You also need to hut this comment yourself, and you need to share this on Facebook as well and like it. Even if you share it yourself and like it yourself, it's still counted on here, which is a signal in YouTube's algorithm to help your video rank higher for the particular keyword that you're going after. Now, in terms of your your key phrase, now I have no idea what sort of um, search level these get, but I'm guessing direct sales tips for beginners is probably what you're going after. Um, and as we can see here, it's not ranking. So. So this, these are the kind of things that you need to be working on. I'm guessing that this is a, a rather difficult uh, one to try and rank for, but there is nothing wrong with going after it. Um, and how to get more engagement uh, from your marketplace. I actually really like this title, uh, but I would put in a semicolon um, and I would put in some sort of a bracket here as well um, because YouTube really likes that shit. I don't know why, but they do. Okay, so here we go. We've got seven views, three likes. Um, and, and let's just load here. Must just be because of the the like I'm bringing up the videos in a bunch. I need to bring them up individually for uh, two buddy to do it. Sing. So same here. Like like it's not liked. Uh, captions aren't added. Um, and I would go ahead and that's very easy to add captions. It's just a matter of turning it on. Um, and in terms of all of the keywords that you're going for here, you're not ranking for any of them, right? So what you really need to do is get a tool that's called Morning Fame. So it's morning morningfa.me. And for those of you who don't have it, um, you can get it. Um, I've I've got the link in this description, or if you're uh, if you're on my blog post, it'll it'll be there as well. Um, that'll teach you how to load the right tags in this uh, into your YouTube videos because I do believe that it. Is important. I've noticed a difference um, since having applied that particular strategy. I don't do everything they, they say to do because I don't, because every tool has got its own bias, right? Just like every channel, every person has its own bias because there's a there is a, a, a purpose behind what it is that they're, that they're releasing. And the purpose behind their tool isn't necessarily what I'm aiming for. So I use it for a very specific reason that I teach in my course, um, but and, and tags being the, for me, the 100% focus behind the entire thing, okay? Um, so you've liked and hearted uh, this one, this comment, that's great. But Doug, you also need to get a URL in here as well, okay? And again, you need to get a URL. So even in, if this is a subscribe, you have a new online marketer uh, wants to know how to make money online. In this video, I'll show you a way you can do this. And then so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then have your URL right there. Okay, so look, we're finding the exact, the pretty much the same theme across all of your videos. So I'm pretty sure that's all we really need to do is just to get it out a little bit more, need to get you a little bit more attention. Um, need to get this um need to get this content out so it can be discovered right um we need to improve our thumbnails uh we need to with this particular video you there's too much of a gap here you need to get rid of this um bring bring the camera all the way down to the top of your head and put all of your everything that you want to do put it like around your chest level you know what i mean like in terms of text or you know people want to see your people do want to see your hands moving they don't just want to see a talking head the moving hands kind of distractions it grab grabs attention and, and all that kind of stuff again create more engagement all right so <clears throat> same thing here need to put the first comment uh need to need to remove this um let's just have a look to see if any, uh, any of these were ranking okay so we've got number one here i was just about to say i wouldn't be surprised if one of them are ranking because you've got a little bit more views than your other ones uh than your other videos and the the ones that you have the most views are the ones with the most rankings okay which just makes perfect sense um <clears throat> The other thing I would go after, Doug, is that you've got a lot of 
like this is really good direct sales tips for beginners how to create sales effortlessly and that's great um, so in, term, in terms of direct sales tips for those of you who don't know what that is it's network marketing um, it's direct sales so it's it's selling a product directly to the market there's no middleman or anything that sort of stuff there's a manufacturer and there's you right um, Amway is a very popular form of direct sales um, don't let that put you off okay because they are great businesses to be involved in there's a lot more money to be made in other things yes but it's a great business model to be involved in. Um, in this particular case for you, uh, it's great to do topics like this, how to create sales effortlessly, right? This is this is awesome stuff. These are these are great um, great topics to be to be to be going after, man. Um, and so what what we want to be talking what we want to be uh, talking about is something that is as relevant as possible to our channel to our topic to get people to resonate with us and what it is that we want to do so we can see that you've done something right here my, my mindset marketing tips to grow your business so this is a great title a great topic to go after which is um, I have no doubt the reason you've got 14 views in one day as opposed to four views in six days with online marketing motivation how to overcome fear now I actually like this title too but a lot more people are looking for tips and tricks and techniques and all that sort of stuff because that's what they believe um, when, when when marketers are starting out those of you are probably watching this channel you probably believe the same thing you feel like you're the tip that strategy that secret that that technique is what's missing missing from your game when really it is the mental side of it that's missing the the, the mindset behind it but that's fine you're not you're not at that stage yet and that's okay all right but really what what you'll what you'll discover is, is how valuable that is as you go on now Doug as you build your tribe as you get more and more people to your channel um, and they see what it is that you're all about, that's what you're actually going to find. Your older videos are going to take off because there is so much good content there that resonates with the right person that it's going to do well. But for now, I would really, really focus on tips, on techniques, on tricks, on strategies, on secrets, and all of those kind of things that people really, really look for uh, because that's kind of what, what, what people get in. That's why people end up buying um, from, they end up buying from hype marketers, right? Now, I, I'm, I'm not a hype marketer by any sense of the word, um, but it's what people kind of go for. Like, for example, there was a lady that I was chatting with a week and a half, two weeks ago, you know, who was very serious about building a business and she wanted my help. I responded to every single one of her emails. Um, she had subscribed to my YouTube channel. She was checking out what it was that I, that I was doing and and basically, we, we were teeing up like, you know, sort of helping each other out and me trying to help her build what it is that she was doing. And then she went really quiet about a week ago. And then it doesn't surprise me this morning, I see that she had unsubscribed from my email list. Now, do I care? No, because at the end of the day, that's the kind of, I don't really want to, I don't want to work with that kind of person. Someone who's constantly doubting what it is that they're doing. Someone who's really like constantly questioning what it is that they're doing and how they should go be going, going about doing it. Questioning whether, whether or not I have any sort of value for them. That's fine. What she's really looking for is a secret pill she's looking for someone who's going to give her the shiny object syndrome because she she really believes that there is something out there that's missing what's really missing is her belief in herself and her belief in me as a mentor and that's fine maybe I didn't do enough to build that trust that know that likability and but that's to me you know what at the end of the day for me that's her loss I don't really care <laughs> I, have, I have plenty of people to help I have plenty of business coming in I don't need her business that's really her call but at the end of the day for me until she turns that corner and she really fixes her mindset and where she's really at and what she wants to achieve and where she wants to go she is going to continue to struggle with this business I just about guarantee it she, she's unsubscribed from my list and that's fine I don't really care <laughs> she, she's going to subscribe to a million other lists looking for someone who's basically going to promise her the world at the click of a button and then she's going to end up spending you know five ten twenty thousand dollars and get fucking blown out and then she's going to turn around and call and call this entire thing a a, a complete scam when when really what it is is that she just doesn't have the right mindset so Doug what I'm saying is sorry I didn't mean to go on a tangent there and for the, all of you who are who are watching this focus on on teaching the the how to you know you, you really want to give people tips and strategies and techniques because that's what they believe that they need right what they really need is the right coach to fine-tune them on the things that they are getting wrong to continue to encourage them on the things that they are doing right and to invest heavily in their mindset so that when these struggles come along they stop questioning themselves and they actually start doing the right thing all right so look i hope you enjoyed this youtube channel review this was this was a different one from the ones we've done for will because because uh doug is really focused on online business so this is really my game and you can see that doug because he knows this stuff because he's obviously done some study and continued to change what he's done over the last six months months you can tell that he's improving what he's doing and it's really just a, a matter of fine tweaking a few things titles tags 
thumbnails are the main things that I see. But in terms of the channel, you know, having a channel trailer, um, updating this, uh, this, this header here, making it a lot more interesting. Um, just those few things should really help. And, and once you apply, like I said, teaching the tips, the strategies, the techniques, the how to's, that's when you'll really start seeing this channel grow. And once it grows, I expect this thing to blow up. It may take six months. It may take three or four years, depending on what it is that you do in terms of adjusting what you're doing and so on and so forth moving forward. All right. So look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you who are interested, go ahead and comment below this video and I'll put you into the draw for my free YouTube course on teaching you everything that I touched upon here. I go into much, much more detail on how to actually do it step by step in my YouTube mastery course that I guarantee that you guys will enjoy. So take care, much love, and I will see you all in the next video.